I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. I've got a look at an app I've been getting a lot of questions about lately. It's called Display Recorder. Now, before I go any further, it's only available for jailbroken devices through Cydia. So if you want this, you need to jailbreak your iOS device. It does cost $4.99, but for what you're getting, it's well worth it. So as you've seen in several of my latest iPhone videos, Display Recorder screen captures what's on your device, but more than that, it shows your finger taps as well. So after you've downloaded it, go into your settings so you can configure Display Recorder. Now, you can set your frame rate and you can even lock that frame rate in. But if you have it set to its highest and your device runs out of memory, the app will crash and you'll lose what you've been recording. You can even set your screen rotation. You can choose from portrait, upside down, landscape left, landscape right. It just depends on what you're recording. You've got a couple of choices for video format, MJPEG or H.264, and then H.264 with the device's mic audio. Although the mic audio isn't that great, you can check out my Angry Birds first look for that. Video quality can be set from low to medium to high. Next, you have OpenGL, Grayscale, and Scale. And if you want more information on these settings, there is a great user guide you can access at the top of Display Recorder settings. As I previously mentioned, you can set to show your finger taps and what size they show up as. Now, web server allows you to download your recordings from your device to a computer without plugging it in, and you can also get a live preview of what's on your device's screen right on your computer. Activation modes allow you to choose how you start recording. Default is by holding down the power button for a brief second. You can even add your YouTube info to directly upload your videos to YouTube. Now, if we take a look at the app itself, when you tap on it, you're given a screen that shows the videos you recorded along with the date. Then when you tap on one of them, you can delete it, upload it to YouTube, play it, or even save it to your camera roll so you can pull it off your device for later use. Also in the top left, you can hit the plus button to start recording. And in the bottom left is enable, which is for the web server. It gives you the link you need for your computer to access your device over Wi-Fi. This video was done using Display Recorder. And if you go back through my past few iPhone videos, I'm using Display Recorder as well. I love this app. With the amount of app reviews I do, it's well worth the price. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, check out iPhone in Canada and iPadincanada.ca and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. This is Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.